Hello friends, welcome again. Today in this video, I am going to give a lecture on topic spermiogenesis. You all uh, will be familiar with the terms spermatogenesis, spermiogenesis and spermiation. There are three main terms which are mainly used during the process of sperm formation. So the main process of formation of sperm is known as spermatogenesis and in the sperm spermiogenesis, there is basically a morphological changes in spermatid and, and uh, immature spermatid undergoes morphological changes and form a mature spermatozoa. This process is known as spermiogenesis and in the spermiation, mature spermatozoa uh, released into the lumen of the seminiferous tubule then this process is known as spermiation. So in this video, I am going to talk mainly about the spermiogenesis. In the spermiogenesis, there are morphological changes in the sperm, uh, in the sperm structure. So there are mainly uh, four phases during the spermiogenesis in which first phase is the Golgi phase of spermatid differentiation as you can see here and in the Golgi phase there are basically three um, steps further, three stages further in the Golgi phase of spermatid differentiation. After that there is another phase, second phase is, uh, second phase is known as cap phase and third phase is known as acrosomal phase. And fourth phase is known as maturation phase. After the maturation phase, there is a spermiation process during which mature spermatozoa are released into the seminiferous tubules. So, this is the main phase of spermiogenesis. I will uh, go talk about one by these, one by one of all of these stages. So, in the Golgi phase of spermatic differentiation, as you can see here, during the process spermiogenesis, initially spermatids are spherical in shape as you can see here this is a spermatid structure which is immature form of sperm of a spermatozoa and this is a totally spherical perfectly spherical in this uh, perfectly spherical in the shape here and there is a spermatid nucleus and golgi apparatus starts to begin golgi apparatus is also perfectly present in the golgi phase of spermatid differentiation and there are mitochondria are also present in this structure. This is a spermatid which is immature form of spermatozoa and perfectly spherical. In the second um, stage of uh, Golgi phase, there is some, here you can see this is Golgi apparatus and the vesicle, small vesicle of Golgi apparatus starts to fuse with the membrane of the spermatid nucleus and begin uh, begin the formation of uh, an, another granule which is known as proacrosomic granules. So when small vesicle of Golgi apparatus fuse with the spermatid nucleus, they form a structure which is known as proacrosomic granules. And second thing that the uh, that these centrioles in which one is proximal centriole and second one is distal centriole they start to migrate toward the opposite end of the Golgi complex. So beneath the spermatid nucleus, there are centrioles and at the upper portion, there is proacrosomic granules, which formed by the fusion of small vesicles of Golgi complex with the, plasma, with the membrane of the spermatid nucleus. In the third stage, there is a formation of acrosomic granules. When many small vesicles um, continue fuse with the spermatid nucleus then they form a big acrosomic granules and there is a dense middle uh, portion inside the acrosomic vesicle which is known as acrosomic granules and in the acrosomic granules there are many acrosomal content are present in it and second thing that centrioles uh, proximal centriole and distal, uh, distal centriole align themselves according to the according to the uh, formation of exonym. Distal centriole help in the formation of exonym or the or the flagella present inside the tail. So this is the distal centriole and proximal centriole help in the attachment of the tail to the uh, tail to the head piece of the tail to the middle piece of the spermatid uh, head. So this is the immature up till now this is the immature form of spermatozoa which is spermatid and it is perfectly spherical in shape. In the second phase which is cap phase, so here you can see this is a cap phase, this is acrosomal phase and this is maturation phase. In the cap phase there is a spermatid nucleus but there is no different, uh, no morphological change in the structure of spermatid nucleus but above the spermatid nucleus there is a acrosomic vesicle 
which is differentiated and this acrosomical acrosomic uh, vesicle formed by the fusion of small vesicle of golgi complex with the spermatid nucleus membrane and uh, in this step golgi complex uh, starts to migrate toward the opposite end distal centriole starts to the formation of exoneme which is the um, which is the arrangement of the flagella inside the uh, inside the tail uh, inside the tail part of the spermatid so this is the uh, this is the distal centriole and this is exoneme or flagella and this is proximal centriole which help in the attachment of the tail to the middle piece of the spermatid and in the cap phase there is a formation of cap which is cap this this is the cap so this acrosomic granules now now cover the main mainly part of the uh, spermatid nucleus and uh, differentiate into inner acrosomic membrane and, and outer acrosomic membrane so there is a differentiation of uh, acrosomic membranes inner and outer golgi complex go toward the opposite end of the uh, opposite end of the spermatid nucleus proximal centriole help in the attachment of the um, tail with the body of the spermatid and distal centriole help in the formation of flagella here you can see these are the flagella and these flagella help in the formation of exoneme in the third phase which is acrosomal phase here you can see in the cap phase there is a formation of cap which is basically differentiation of acrosome into inner uh, acrosomic membrane and outer exome no, exonomic membrane in the third stage which is acrosomal acrosomal phase in the acrosomal phase there is a elongation of spermatid nucleus up till cap phase you can see that spermatids are circular or somewhat um, rounded in structure but in the acrosomal phase there is a elongation of the spermatid nucleus and above the spermatid nucleus major portion is covered by the acrosomal cap and in the acrosomal cap there is and there are there are many lysozoic enzyme which help in the fertilization um, they uh, they fuse with the egg membrane and lyse the content of the egg membrane and help in the fertilization so this acrosomic uh, acrosome is very important part of spermatozoa and here you can see these are the mitochondria are present uh, here and there and this is the structure which are microtubules basically and they form a manchet structure this manchet structure help in the formation of post nuclear cap in further phases and there is a formation of um, tail like structure and after the tail uh, and uh, after the tail like structure there you can see these are the two structure which are known as uh, annulus and uh, these annulus mainly help in the joining of the body with the tail so these an annulus uh, help in the help act as a junction between the neck and the principal piece of the spermatid and in this structure you can see spermatid um nucleus is very elongated and the major portion is covered by the acrosomal acrosome and mitochondria are also present here and there annulus is also present and there is a neck so neck and uh, these annulus help in the um, joining of these uh, tail structure with the neck structure so this is the annulus and these are the manchet and one thing that whole uh, spermatid is now elongated in structure and covered with the plasma membrane in the maturation phase you can see spermatid undergoes elongated structure so it is a morphological change and the whole uh, acrosome a whole spermatid nucleus is mainly at the anterior region covered by the acrosome here you can see this is the acrosome a blue portion represent the acrosome and um, caudal region of the spermatid nucleus is covered by post nuclear cap which is mainly formed by the manchet as you can see here these are the manchet or microtubules these microtubule help in the formation of this post nuclear cap so this is the head region of spermatid and now this is the neck and be, uh, below the neck there is are many um, mitochondria are present here and there but they are not arranged accordingly and these are the flagella structure these are annulus as they were present in acrosomal phase and these annulus help in the um, joining of the head piece or uh, you can say neck piece to the tail piece and these are golgi complex now in the last or mature form of spermatozoa there are different region of the spermatozoa these are head 
neck middle piece and principal piece here you can see this in the head region there is a acrosomal region which uh, which have acrosomal enzyme or lysogenic or um, lysozymes which help in the lysis of egg membrane during fertilization after the head there is a um, there is a post nuclear cap in the caudal region of the spermatid nucleus there is a portion which is known as neck and below the neck mitochondria arrange them al align them um, side by side of a flagella and they form a structure which is known as middle piece so by the arrangement of mitochondria there is a formation of middle piece and in the end there are flagella which are not arranged as usually so this is known as mid principal piece so there are four portion head neck middle piece and principal piece and whole spermatozoa is covered with is covered with the plasma membrane and you can see these are the annulus which uh, green dot represent here annulus and these annulus help in the joining of principal piece with the middle piece so you can see this is a mature form of spermatozoa which is fully differentiated so um, there are many uh, morphological changes from the spermatid into the mature form of spermatozoa that's why this process is known as spermiogenesis and in the spermiogenesis we get mature spermatozoa which have distinct body parts like head neck middle piece and principal piece and this mature spermatozoa have the capability to fertilize a egg so this was whole about the uh, spermiogenesis process there were mainly four processes golgi complex processes cap phase acrosom acrosomal phase maturation phase in the maturation phase we got a mature spermatozoa which is capable to fertilize any egg and till the um, till the cap phase spermatid nucleus remain rounded in structure but in acrosomal phase spermatid nucleus starts to elongate and in the head in the and middle piece is formed by the arrangement of the mitochondria side by side to the flagella so this is form this form the middle piece and annulus are mainly junction between the middle piece and the principal piece so acrosomal acrosomal cap contain acrosomal lysozyme enzyme which help in the fertilization so this was the spermiogenesis process i hope this video will help you thank you friends